how do you tackle such a question? Alex is twice as fast as Bob and thrice as fast as Cole in the same job together. So we can see that Alex is two times somebody and three times somebody. So let us take the value of rate of Alex or one day work of Alex. Let us say one day work of Alex is six times some random value x. So what will be the one day work of Bob? Since Alex is twice as fast as Bob, Bob's one day work will be 3x. And since Cole is, Alex is three times as fast as Cole, one day work for Cole will be 6x upon 3 that is 2x. Now we see that they work in a cycle in, in a pattern on first day A and B work together. So if A and B work together they will complete 6x plus 3x, 9x of the work. On second day B and C work together so they will complete 5x and on the third day A and C work together so they will complete 8x on the third day. And fourth day again A and B will work together. So they will start repeating this in cycle. So in one cycle of three days, the quantum of work done by the three of them together will be 9x plus 5x plus 8x that is 22x. But how much is the total work? You can see that Bob finishes the job in 40 days if he works alone. How much does Bob do in one day? 3x. So total work must be work done by Bob in one day that is 3x multiplied by the number of days required by Bob. So total work must be 120x. And you can see that in one cycle of three days the three of them put together will do 22x work. Now they have to finish 120x. So in five cycles, that is in 15 days, you recognize that the total amount of work done will be work done in one cycle 22x multiplied by 5 that is 110x. This will be the work done by them in five cycles and still you can see that the total work is 120x, there will be a balance of 10x work. In the sixth cycle, day one of sixth cycle, who is going to work? A and B and they will do 9x of the work and on, this, on day two of the sixth cycle, still 1x work will be balanced and that will be done by uh, B and C and they will be able to finish off this work on day 2 of the 6th cycle. So the total days for which the work lasts is 5 into 3 15 plus 2 17. Now in each cycle Alex works on first day and Alex works on the third day. So in each of the 5 cycles Alex has worked for 2 days plus on day one of the sixth cycle, Alex has worked. So the total amount of days or total number of days for which Alex must have worked is 11, which should be your answer.